A UN agency says the deaths of six workers at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant were not linked to radiation. The UN Scientific Committee on the Effects of Atomic Radiation, or UNSCARE, released a preliminary report at its headquarters in Vienna on Thursday. Its study began last May based on data provided by the Japanese government. We don't have any indication that their death was related to radioactivity and exposure. On the other hand, the committee confirmed that eight of the roughly 20,000 workers who had been involved in operations at the plant until late January were exposed to more than 100 millisieverts of radiation. Anyone with that dose is said to have an increased risk of cancer. Unscare plans to compile a final report and submit it to the UN by the end of next year. Researchers at the World Health Organization are studying how all this affected people's health. They say spikes in radiation after the accident in most cases were below levels that cause cancer. The researchers released a preliminary report on exposure during the four months after the accident. They estimate that residents of two towns close to the plant, Namie and Itate, were exposed to the highest levels, 10 to 50 millisieverts per year. They say people in other areas nearby may have received between 1 and 10 millisieverts. Those even further away were exposed to 1 millisievert or less. The researchers say no area saw exposures exceeding 100 millisieverts per year. Experts say the risk of cancer becomes clear at doses above that level. The researchers caution their estimates may be high. They assumed people remained in communities near the plant for the entire four months. In fact, most residents left soon after the accident. The researchers say they will release their final report in July.